Are you looking for some Christmas games for the holiday? Hi, my name is Jill. Welcome to the A Mom. Let's get started. So I'm going to talk to you about 10 different types of Christmas games that I think would be great for the holidays. Water cups. So all you really need is some cups and water and what you'll need to do is get in a line and everyone will have a cup of water and there will be a cup that won't have any water at the beginning. Um, so and then pretty much what you'll do is in line you'll everyone will go file through and put water into the cup. You'll keep on doing this and just stay in order um, and pour water into that cup until someone overfills it. The person that overfills the cup is the loser and everyone else is the winner. Super easy, lots of fun. And when getting near to the end, a little bit intense. Who can shake it best? So for this game, you're gonna need some empty Kleenex boxes, um, some ribbon or string, um, and some ping pong balls. So what you'll do is take that empty Kleenex box, you'll put uh, thread some string or ribbon around and then tie it around each person's waist. Then you're gonna put in X amount of balls in each person uh, box. The idea is you play some music, everyone round and twist. The only thing that they can't do is use their hands. Um, so they can't go and just take out the balls with their hands. They have to move around uh, to try to get it. They can jump, they can twist, they can do a whole bunch of stuff, uh, but they cannot use their hands. They can't move it to the front. It always stays to the back. At the end, it's whoever has the least amount of balls or whoever doesn't have any balls left. Gift ball. What you'll need is ram wrap, um, gifts to go in between the layers, and two dice. So the idea is everyone's sitting in a circle or even in a line, it doesn't matter. Um, and the next person over will have the dice. The first person will have the ball, the next person will have the dice. The uh, first person is trying to open it up while that person is rolling the dice. They have to give it over to the next person and t uh, when they finally get doubles. Any doubles, it moves over. It's on going until it's all done. Gingerbread house race. A gingerbread house race, all you'll need is some gingerbread houses kit and a timer. So what you'll do is set a time limit. You can do anything from like 10 minutes to 30 minutes. You can set whatever time limit you would like um, and everyone gets the same gingerbread house kit. Who can create the best gingerbread house in that amount of time? <laughs> Christmas charades. All you need is paper and, and something maybe to put your papers in. So the idea is all you need to do is write a whole bunch of things that would be winter theme, Christmas theme kind of stuff. Uh, for example, the Grinch or Christmas tree, whatever the case is. You pretty much are doing charades, but with these winter items. If you don't want to do charades, you could do Pictionaries or something like that too, and it would work great. Find the pickle. Find the pickle, I'm pretty sure, is a German tradition, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Um, I remember learning about this one in Victoria when I lived there. Uh, pretty much what you'll have is an ornament that is shaped like a little pickle and you'll hide it on the tree and whoever finds the pickle is the one that gets the extra gift. A candy cane hunt. So just like how you do an Easter hunt, do a candy cane hunt. Buy a bunch of candy canes, hide them around the house, have people find them. If you want to add something extra, you can have it that, you know, you find X amount of candy canes and then whoever finds it uh, X amount of candy canes first, you can give them a box of chocolates or something like that as a prize. Um, don't need to do that, but you could do that. I know I've used this one before, White Elephant. It's a fun game. Uh, everyone just brings a gift. So that's literally what it, uh, what you'll need is everyone to bring a gift. And then the gifts go into a pile and one person picks a gift and then the next person can choose whether they're going to steal that gift or pick another gift and so forth and so forth. The fastest wrap. The fastest wrap, all you need is some boxes, uh, wrapping paper, scissors, and tape. So everything you would need to wrap a, a regular gift, you bring that and have that ready for your contestants. Uh, and then pretty much what you'll do is on your mark, get set, wrap, and whoever can wrap the fastest 
wins. Now the last one I don't think many people know unless if you're part of the dev community. This is a super fun game and normally it's called the elephant game. The idea for the elephant game would be if you got pointed to the person that gets pointed to they would put a trunk in front of their face um, and then the people one person on the side would make the ears and the other person on the side would make the other ear. For this one we're slightly changing it up. Instead, we're going to have one person on one side doing an antler, another person on the other side doing another antler, and the person in the middle making Rudolph's, uh, Rudolph's nose. And super fun and easy. Uh, you meet, you might need about seven people, um, but the more the merrier. Uh, what you do is you have the person in the middle and they're trying to catch you off guard. They're going to point to whoever they want and they're trying to get people out. So if you, if they point at you and you end up doing, two people end up doing nose and they're pointing to one person and that person on the side is supposed to do an antler, they're out. Um, or if they just are kind of out of it and they don't put that antler up or they don't put that nose up, they're out. So it's a quick game, super fun, super, I, I've never done in, it as a Rudolph game or a reindeer game, but I think it would be a really fun game. I love the elephant game. So I think this would be a really great one. So those are all my Christmas games that I have for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you tried them out. If you have a Christmas game that you think would be great for people to try out, please leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell button. Until next time, stay safe, stay lovely.